Hello and welcome back everybody to 2KCW where we are coming off a exciting unfinished business event in the first arena in Elmira where of course the women's division on display there is Dizzy Jet still undefeated in singles action taking on Elmira's own Beth Phoenix in her 2K CW debut. So it's almost appearing the sky is the limit for Dizzy Jet. And speaking of our women's division, Charlie Evans been in a rivalry as of late with the Suicide Blondes. In the previous outing, it was Charlie taking on Paige Storm with Cindy at ringside, but now the roles are reversed, so now it's going to be Cindy taking on Charlie. Not sure what exactly brought this on. That Charlie's in their sights for trying to score easy victories, but Charlie's been putting up a hell of a fight, I'll be perfectly honest with you. So let's see if Cindy Danger can make up for the previous loss by Paige Storm. And here we go, Cindy Danger coming out with a quick gut kick to Charlie and just hair whip across the ring. And a reverse inverted neck breaker there by Cindy and again just throwing Charlie right into the ring apron. Counter there by Charlie. Knife edge chop. Now Cindy going introduced into the turnbuckle pad. Hurricane Rana from Charlie. And Charlie Evans in control of the matchup. Another Hurricane Rana beautifully done. Take it down Cindy. Of course... Cindy in Paige's match got herself ejected by the referee so let's see if Paige will be more willing to abide by the rules in the referee's ruling. As Cindy goes into the court buckle to the turnbuckle pack, excuse me, Charlie launches in with a drop kick. Keep your control of the wrist. And running the knees right into the left arm of Cindy Danger. Now Charlie into the cover here. Only a one count. Referee staying way well on top of the action inside the ring. And now an inverted takedown. Innovative takedown I should mean. And a fist drop from Cindy. And now Pate, well... I talked about abiding by the rules and Paige Storm just introduced a steel chair. And around the world arm drag there by Charlie. Back over by Cindy. Almost being trapped into the ring ropes. And an elevated famous surf from Cindy Danger into the cover here. A two count and Charlie staying alive. Let's see if that steel chair is going to play any kind of role in this matchup. I hope for Charlie's sake or maybe even for Cindy, but we'll have to wait and see. Neckbreaker from Cindy Danger as she climbs up to the top turnbuckle. See Cindy looking to hit. Look, danger close as she calls it here. Two and Charlie getting the kick out of the danger close. And again, just throwing Charlie by the head. Another elevated fist drop. Fist drop that probably would even make Jerry the King Lawler blush. Into the corner, back over from Charlie. Now Charlie with a neck breaker of her own. 
Now Charlie just trying to come up with a way to defeat Cindy Danger here, and she may do it there with a spine buster. A spine buster from out of nowhere from Charlie Evans to Cindy Danger. And Cindy again looking for the elevator. Famous or counter. Oh my God. Cindy catching the middle and the bottom ropes. I mean, we got medical staff on hand, but we'll have to keep an eye on Cindy Danger. Sunset flip bomb from Charlie. And maybe that's going to be enough to keep Cindy down. If that doesn't, this definitely will. Cindy or Charlie having to close the gap with a super duper kick. Ducks underneath this standing Spanish fly from Charlie. And a backflip, and Charlie is feeling it here. Now Charlie coming in hot with a series of closed lines and a running drop kick. Taking down Cindy. And another spine buster to Cindy Danger. Cover here. And Cindy still staying alive in this matchup. And now Charlie again looking for the super duper kick. And she doesn't have to close the gap so far as she did before. Right on the button. Charlie into the cover. And that's going to do it. The victory belongs to Charlie Evans once again. Getting the victory over the Suicide Blondes. And now Cindy and Charlie share the ring. And sign of respect from... Cindy to Charlie and maybe this will put it to rest well, ladies and gentlemen no one contendership match on the line I mean Reed Carter and ultimate death Reed Carter and ultimate death of course Reed Defeated then challenger Eric Anderson in a one on one match, and Ultimate Death defeated former champion Leroy Punchbeef. So, this more or less has become a number one contenders match since both men can say they've defeated former challenger and champion. Reed Carter, very technically proficient wrestler here in our roster from Springfield, Illinois. I don't know if that's a callback to The Simpsons. To be perfectly honest, I haven't seen a lot of The Simpsons, but I know that much that they're from Springfield. And if I'm wrong, then the comments will let me know about it. Ultimate Death Looking for a standing suplex, and he gets it. And now going for the side slam there. Ultimate Death, a legend in the independent wrestling promotions here in the States. And even, obviously, in, in Mexico. And now Reed looking for here. Looking for a torture rack slam, looks like, from the middle turnbuckle cover here. Ultimate Death has held over 50 championships in his decorated career. Spinning splash, it looks like, coming up empty. Wrist lock takedown from Reed Carter. Now he's got Death up on his shoulders. And Carter... Looking for a power bomb outside the ring to ultimate death. Death now. Clubbing blows to the back of Reed Carter. Now just sending Reed right into the steel guardrail here. Of 
camera crews with their very wide angle lens are getting all the action here at ringside. And count of six, this match gets brought back inside. And now Reed Carter hits the rocket kick to ultimate death. And now Carter looking for the Ricola bomb, but he calls it going nowhere. And that may be it right there for ultimate death in this match. And yes, Reed Carter is now the number one contender for the 2K CW Heavyweight Championship that is currently held by Eric Anderson. And now Carter. Oh, come on, Carter. You won the match. Oh, come on. This is just... Get him out of here, ref. Get... Whoa, wait a minute. That's... No, wait, that can't... No. That can't be. Wait a minute, that's... That... That's Devin Andrews. You don't know me just yet but you will soon enough to kcw my name is devin andrews you may know my brother kurt andrews the gaw academy champion i am the older brother who has been passed over many times than i can count kurt was always the one that the talent scouts would want to sign now I have that opportunity. It's time for me to step out of the shadows of the underground where I've been perfecting my craft. Well, I'll be open to address that I have a short-term contract here on 2KCW. I will be making the best of it. That being said, as I understand it, we have ourselves a new champion here in 2KCW. The Norse Horse himself. Eric Anderson. I've been watching you, Eric. You're a hell of an athlete and competitor, but you are not at the caliber that I am. See you soon, champ. Well, what does this mean now for the landscape of 2KCW? We'll have to wait and find out, folks.